Hi there, it's Cody Henriksen, and I want to talk to you about a cool little resource I made that you can generate a PDF for your code for the CSP create task. I generated this a couple years ago um, when you had to still mark the abstraction, the algorithm sections in your code, but it'll still work great today. Um, I'll do an updated version of the code so it's just more um, specifically um, marks where you have to actually put, like, say, for example, your data structure, your methods, and your calls for that. But for right now, it's just a quick little demonstration we can use this. And you have a quick way you can actually work with the software and make it work. Um, so we have a create jar right here. This is just a little application. And so what you do is you just it opens up and it runs. It says, hey, welcome to create task code documenter. Name your file, not your name. So we're going to go ahead and put a file in here. I'm just going to give it the really boring name of video demo because that's what we're doing. And I just say, okay, wonderful stuff. And then as you can see right here, you'd, um, in your code, you'd mark it with a whack whack start abstraction and end abstraction to draw a rectangle around something or a whack whack start algorithm or end algorithm to draw an oval around something, which is great for your 3B questions. You can actually do that. I'll adjust the script, like I said, I'll adjust the image on this in the next version, but for right now, it's functional and it works. But first thing we really need to do is we need to choose the directory for our code. So we click this button right here, boom, and it brings up the file chooser and I want to choose where my project's located. So if I go over here to my documents folder, I'm going to go over here to my dev folder and I'll go to my Java folder and hey, let's pick my um, demo project. So now that I've got my demo project folder, I want to choose the source folder where all the code is going to be located and I hit choose. And that's going to uh, run the code for me and it'll show up here as the PDF is going to be generated from this user slash my username, cody.henriksen slash document slash dev slash java slash demo project slash source. So it's going to grab all the code files that are in that directory. And as you can see, it's going to save that uh, draft in there in the same folder where this jar file is saved. And I just saved it to my desktop in the demo folder and I click over here in my finder window and hey, look, here's version zero demo video, uh, version zero video demo.pdf because it's that name that I just gave it to it. And I just go ahead and double click on it. Boom, right here. And I have my CTEC XML file, I have a runner.java, I have an app controller.java, and color scheme.xml. Those are the files that exist inside that directory. I can scroll down through here, and as you can see, it has the files that go along with that, all the code that's in there. So if any XML, uh, Java, Swift, JavaScript, C, C, Sharp, and basically any text based programming language, it'll automatically generate it. It'll even give some of the highlighting for the keywords for you. And if you had anything in there where it has the um, comment whack whack start algorithm or start uh, abstraction, it'll draw the appropriate rectangle or square around those values. And so that's what we've got set up so it can actually do the drawing on that for you. And it'll go there and it'll just generate right there. As you can see, it says create with love, hashtag CS for all. And then the page number, you have, a co of course, a nice little header for each different file you're working with. And you can see all the different file, all the code you're working with with and it can grade that for you. And so it's a great way you can create tools for the CSPDF, um, the CSP create task where you have to get your code to a PDF and then it'll automatically highlight information for you with that. And it's a great tool you can use, especially if you're using multiple files, trying to put them into a single PDF. And if you don't have access, say for example, a print to PDF feature, your code doesn't run on that. All you have to do is run that Java jar file and it works really, really well. And so you can keep on making updates to that and we'll um, add updated versions for it. You can rerun it right there. And again, it's really pretty easy to do. Again, the way to get that file right here, all you have to do is just go to that tiny URL, tinyurl.com slash apcsp dash create dash code. It takes you to this Dropbox page right here and you just download the file right there to your desktop or your local machine and you can run it right there. This is a freely available tool. Everyone can access it and use it. I hope it's helpful to you and you can grab the information for that and you can easily upload that PDF to your CSP file um, when you're working for your create task and upload to the AP Digital Portfolio. I hope this is helpful. Have a great day. Cheers, and we'll see you next time. Adieu. Bye.